Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of AWS reInvent 2021. Here, theCUBE coverage, I'm John Furrier, your host. We're on the ground with two sets on the floor, a real event. Of course, it's hybrid, it's online as well. You can check it out there. All the on-demand replays are there. We're here with Sandy Carter, Worldwide Vice President of Public Sector partners and programs, and we got Fred Swanaker, founder and chief curator of The Room. We're talking about getting the best talent, programming and in the cloud, doing great things, innovation, all happening. Sandy, great to see you. Thanks for coming on theCUBE, Fred, appreciate it. Thanks for having great me. Great to see you. Okay, so tell us about The Room. What is The Room, what's going on? Well, our mission in The Room is to help the world's most extraordinary doers to fulfill their potential. So, um, it's a community of exceptional talent that we are building throughout the world um, and connecting this talent to each other and connecting them to the organizations that are looking for people who can really move the needle for those organizations. So what kind of results are you guys seeing right now? Give us some stats. Well, it's a, it's a relatively new concept, so we have about 5,000 members so far um, from 77 different countries. Um, and this is, you know, we're talking about sort of the top two to three percent of talent in different fields. Um, and um, as we go forward, you know, we're really looking, seeing this as an opportunity to curate um, exceptional talent um, in fields like software engineering, data science, UX, UI design, cloud computing, um, and uh, really help to um, identify diverse talent as well from pockets that have typically been untapped for technology. I want to ask you kind of what's the, how you read the tea leaves and how do you spot the talent, but first, talk about the relationship with Amazon, what's the program together, how are you guys working together, it's a great mission, I mean we need more people anyway, coding everywhere globally, what's the AWS connection? So Fred and I met and uh, he had this, I mean the brilliant concept of the room, and so uh, obviously you need to run that on the cloud. And so he's got organizations he's working at, connecting them through the room, and kind of that piece that he was needing was the technology. So we stepped in to help him with the technology piece because he's got all the subject matter expertise to train three million Africans um, coming up on tech. We also were able to provide him some of the classwork as well for the cloud computing models. So some of those certs and yeah. things that we want to get out into the marketplace as well, we're also helping Fred with that as well. So, I mean, one, just to add on to that, you know, one of the things that's unique about the room is that we're trying to really build a long-term relationship with talent. So imagine joining the room as a 20-year-old and being part of it until you're 60. So you're going to have a lot of data that you collect on someone as they progress through different stages of their career. And the ability for us to leverage that data um, and continuously learn about someone's you know, skills and values and use um, predictive algorithms to be able to match them to the right opportunities at the right time in their lives. And this is where the machine learning comes in and the, you know, the data lake that we're building to be able to really store this massive data that we're going to be building on, on, on the top talents in the world. You know, that's a really good point. It's a, that's a big trend in tech where it's, a, it's, still, it's over the life, life of, the, of the horizon of the person. Exactly. It's a, and it also blends community. Exactly. Nurturing, identifying, and assisting. Exactly. But at the same day, not just giving people the answer. Exactly. They got to grow on their own, but some people grow differently. So again, exactly. progressions are non-linear sometimes, exactly. and creativity could come out of nowhere. You got it. Uh, which brings me up to my number one question, because this is always what's on my mind, is how do you spot talent? <laughs> <laughs> what's the secret sauce? Well, there is no real secret sauce, because every person is unique. <laughs> so what we look for are people who have an extra dose of five things, courage, passion, resilience, imagination and good values, right? And this is what we're looking for. And you're someone who is unusually driven to achieve great things. Um, so of course, you know, you look at it from uh, a combination of their, their training, you know, what they've, what they've learned, but also what they've actually done in the workplace and feedback that you get from them. Previous employers and data that we collect um, through our own interactions with this person. Um, and so we screen them through, you know, we, they, the talent that we identify, we take them through a really rigorous selection process. So um, it takes, uh, for example, people go through an online assessments, and then they go through an in-person interview, and then we'll take them through a one to three month boot camp to really identify you know, people who are exceptional, and of course get data from different sources about the person as well. 
Sandy, how do you see this collaboration helping uh, your other clients? I mean, obviously, talent cross-pollinates, um, learnings, what's your, yeah. how do you see this so leveraging? So as uh, you know, AWS grows, obviously we're going to need more talent, especially in Africa, because we're growing so rapidly there and there's going to be so much talent available in Africa here in just a few short years. Most of the tech talent will be in Africa. I think that that's really essential. But also, as looking after my partners, I had Fred today on the keynote explaining to all my partners around the world, 55,000 streaming folks, how they can also leverage the room to fill some of their roles as well. Because if you think yeah. about it, you know, we heard from Presidio, there's three million open cybersecurity roles. Um, you know, we're training 29 million cloud folks because we have a gap. We see a gap around the world. And part of my responsibility with partners is making sure that they can get access to the right skills. And we're counting on the room and what Fred has produced to produce some of those great skills. You have AI, ML, and DevOps. Tell us some of the yeah, areas and, um, you have there. You know, we're looking at uh, business intelligence, data science, um, full stack software engineering, cybersecurity, um, you know, IOT talent, so feels that um, the world needs a lot more yeah. talent. And I think today, a lot of technology um, talent is moving from one place to another. And what we need is new supply. And so what the room is doing is not only a community of top talent, but we're actually producing and training a lot more new talent. And that is going to hopefully uh, remove a key bottleneck that a lot of companies are facing today as they try to undergo the digital transformation. Well, maybe you could add some hosts on there. We need some cube hosts, come on. <laughs> We're always looking for more right. talent on the we'll set. produce them looking, You could be <laughs> You know, the other interesting thing, John, um, Fred and I on stage today, he was talking about how EC2, the first narrative written for EC2, was written by a gentleman out of South Africa. So think about that, yeah, right? Yeah. EC2, talent, and he was talking about, uh, Ian Musk is based, you know, yeah. South African, right? So think about all that great talent that exists Adam's there. Lefty. There you go, there you go. Yeah. So how do you get access to that talent? And that's why we're so excited to partner yeah. with Fred. Not only is he wicked uh, impressive, one of time's most influential people, but his mission, his life yeah. purpose, has really been to develop this great talent. And for us, that gets us really excited because we yeah. need great and I think talent. That, I think there's plenty of opportunities too around new business models. In the US, for instance, um, my friend started Upstart, which they were betting on people. Almost like a stock market, you know, almost like yes. currency. We'll fund you yes. and you pay us back. And there's all kinds of gamification techniques yes. that you can start to weave into the system exactly. as you get the flywheel going. Exactly. You exactly. can look at it holistically and say, hey, how do we get more people in and harvest the value of knowledge. That's exactly, I mean, one of the elements of the technology platform that we developed with Amazon, with AWS, is the room intelligence platform. And in there is something called legacy points. So every time you as a member of the room give someone else an opportunity, you invest in their venture, you hire them, you mentor them, you get points, and you can leverage those points for some really cool experiences, right? So you want to gamify um, this community that is uh, you know, essentially crowdsourcing opportunities and you're not only getting things from the room but you're also giving to others to enable everyone to grow. Yeah, what's the coolest thing you've seen? I mean, this is a great mission. First of all, it's a great model. I think it is, this is the future because I'm a big believer that communities, groups, as we get into this hybrid world is going to open up the virtualization. What the virtual world has shown us is yep. virtualization, which is a cloud technology. What Amazon started with Zen, which is virtualization technology. But virtualization conceptually is replicating things. So if you think hybrid world, you can blend and connect people together. So now you have this social construct, this connective tissue between relationships, and it's always evolving. Yes. You know this, and you've been involved in community from, from, from the early days. When you have that social evolution, it's not software as a mechanism, it's a human thing. Exactly. It's organism, it evolves. Exactly. And so if you can get the software to think like that and the group to drive the behavior, it's not community software. Exactly, I mean we say that the room is not an online community, it's really an offline community powered by technology. So our vision is to actually have physical rooms in different cities around the world where this talent gathers. Yes. But imagine showing up at a, at a room space and we've got the technology to know what your interests are. We know that you're working on a new venture 
and yeah. there's, a, there's a venture capitalist in that area investing in that venture. We can connect you right there in that space, yeah. powered by the room intelligence platform. And then you can have watch parties, for instance, if there's an event going on in the US, you can do some watch parties and time shift it. Exactly. And then re replicate it online and create a localization. Exactly. But yet have that connection. In person, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. So, so what's the learnings? What's your big learnings? Share with the audience what you've learned, because this is really kind of on the front edge of the new kind of innovation we're seeing being enabled with software. I mean, one thing we're learning is that uh, talent is truly uh, evenly distributed around the world, but what is not is opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's some truly exceptional talent that is hidden and untapped today. And if we can, you know, and, and today, the, with the COVID pandemic, companies all around the world are longer open to hiring more talent. Mm -hmm. So there's a huge opportunity to access new talent from, from sources that haven't been tapped before. What we're also learning is the power of blending the online and offline world. So, um, you know, the room is, as I mentioned, brings people together not only online but also offline. And so, when you're able to meet talent and actually see someone's personality and get a sense of their, their culture fit, yeah. the 360 degree view of someone that you can't just get on a LinkedIn. Yes. That, that, that your ability to make a decision to hire someone is, is, is much better. And finally, we're also learning about the importance of long-term relationships. Yeah. One of our motors in the room is relationships, not transactions. Where um, you actually get to meet someone yeah. in an environment where they're not pretending in an interview and you get to really see who they are mm -hmm. and build relationships with them before you need to hire them. And these are some really unique ways that we think we can really find how talent finds opportunity in the 21st we century. We could put a cube in every room. <laughs> we yeah, got a cube. Because, you no, know, and the cube, what we do here is that when people collaborate, whether they're doing an interview together, riffing and, and sharing content, is creating knowledge. Yes. But that ex shared experience creates a bonding. Yes. So when you have that kind of mindset and this room concept where it's not just resume, get a job, see you later. Exactly. It's learning, having peers and colleagues and people around you. Exactly. And then seeing them in a journey, multiple laps around the track, if you will. Exactly, exactly. And going through a career, not just a job. Yes, exactly. And then, right. and then celebrating the ups and downs. Exactly. Because in learning, it's not always roses, as there you know. There you go. You gotta, yeah. It's always pain before you accelerate. Exactly. And you never quite arrive at your destination. You're always growing. And yeah. this is where technology can really play a great okay. role. Okay, so yeah. super exciting. Where's this go next, Sandy? Next couple minutes left, and let's get through the next so, step. So, um, one of the things that we've envisioned, so this is not done yet, but um, Fred and I imagine, like, what if you could have an Alexa set up and you could say, hey, you know, Alexa, what should be my next job? Or how should I go train? Or I'm really interested in being on a TED Talk. What could I do? Having an Alexa skill might be a really cool thing to do. And with the great funding that Fred's gotten, you should talk about the $400 million, too, that he's already raised. Yeah, $400 million. I mean, there, I think the sky's the limit on mm. platforms like this. That's a nice chunk of change there. <laughs> it is. You I'm got to some fat financing, as they say. <laughs> But, well, it's a big mission, so it requires significant resources. <laughs> who's backing you guys? What's the, who's the, where's the money coming from? It's coming from um, the MasterCard Foundation. They are biggest funder, um, as well as um, some philanthropists. Um, and essentially, these are people who truly see the potential uh, to unlock um, opportunity for millions of, of people. For global, for global, on a global scale, the vision exactly. is global. Exactly, yeah. starting in Africa, but truly global. Our yeah. vision is eventually to have a community of about 10 to 20 million of the most extraordinary doers in the world yeah. in this community and to connect them to opportunity. Well, congratulations. And, diver and diverse, John. Yeah. I mean, this is the other thing that gets me excited because innovation comes from diversity of thought. And given the community will have so many diverse individuals in it that are going to get trained and mentored to create something that is amazing for their career as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. That really gets me excited too, as well as Amazon Web Well, Services. you got smart people, and that's identifying the fresh voices and exactly. the fresh minds that come with it. All that that comes together exactly. in with the, the room. social capital that they need to really accelerate their impact. And then you read the room, and then you get the, <laughs> whoever you need. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Colin. Congratulations on your great mission. Love the room. Thank you um, so much. You need a median cube in every room. You got to get those fresh voices out there. Sandy, congratulations on the great project. Super exciting. Thank you. And SageMaker AI is all part of it. It's all kind of, it's a cool wave. Exactly. It's fun. Exactly. Yeah. Can I join? 
Can I yeah. play? Okay, yeah. I need a room. I think he's top talent, right? I think, I think we could, I think we could <laughs> work with him. We could work with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, keep it every sure. room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for coming. I really appreciate your insight. Great Thank stuff you. here. Bringing you all the action and the knowledge and insight here at reInvent with theCUBE. Two sets on the floor. It's a hybrid event. We're in person in Las Vegas for a real event. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE, the leader in global tech coverage. Thanks for watching.